So good afternoon viewers. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look how to approximate a given function, a rational function of this form. I have done it and, uh, and, and I saw that uh, this is a, this is a approximate function of this uh, rational function written in this form. So I make use of a uh, party approximation technique and also make use of the MAPO software. So you will have to install MAPO software in your system and you launch it. Then you can you can write, restart and enter. And you load the you load plotting package in the in the MAPO in the MAPO uh, worksheet. So next thing you do is to write the this function. You write it uh, in the MAPO uh, worksheets and you have this so you this is the uh, party approximation technique that you are going to make use of is of this form because of the degree of s so you write it in this uh, in this form so you look for the difference of the of the two and you take the taylor expansion the taylor series of uh, of the difference and this will give you give you fs so after doing that you take the coefficients the coefficient of each of each of the s powers are the each of these are the coefficient of x uh, the equation of x raised to power one s raised to power two s raised to power three s raised to power four so the next thing you do now is to equate these coefficients to zero when you equate the equation to zero, you have what is underneath here. You have this. So you're using MAPO. Then you solve. You solve for the constant A, B, C, D. You solve for the constant A, B, C, D using the solve tool. So after solving, you have the value for A, B, C, D. Then you assign this value. With this command, you assign this value to to f and f a, and when you assign to f a, which is the approximate uh, uh, function, when you assign to f a, you have this, and you know f a is uh, is this before. So assigning your your value for a and a b c d, you have uh, you have this. Uh, uh, output which is this so that means this is the approximate function of uh, f of f written as this or written written in this form so we can see we can see that it's true because when we plot the graph for these two function we have we have this for the two function taking the difference we have this you can see the hardly will you see any difference between f and f a but when you plot it separately, you can notice that there's a little difference. And when you go ahead to do it numerically, solving for f, solving for f, f a to infinity, you have this, and solving for f, f of s to infinity, you have a, you have a two. So, so and you, when you look at the difference, you see that this is just the difference. So you can go ahead to use the body approximation technique. For, the, for function that cannot easily that you cannot easily can, cannot be easily be solved or cannot can, you cannot easily get the get the solution or the analytical solution you can use a party approximation technique for it thank you